Hey, what up, everybody? It's uh, Rhett Weaver here from Inchel in Utah. Kind of want to go over the CPI report, what rates are doing, and what we can kind of expect over these next 60 days. So uh, let's kind of dive into this and, and kind of break this down. The CPI report definitely showed that inflation is slowing, which is really good for interest rates. The problem with it is the projections of where they thought it would be today did, definitely didn't hit the mark. So it dropped by one tenth of a percent. They thought it was going to fall at least two or three tenths of a percent, which it did not. So it negatively impacted interest rates, which means interest rates have definitely gone up today. Over the last week, obviously, we've lost a lot of basis points. Interest rates have been on the rise, um, but we're trying to make it our way through kind of this jobs report, what's happening with the CPI. And let me kind of break this down and hopefully this makes sense. Right now, shelter costs of that consumer price index or what's going on with inflation is making up 43% of this. So with a year over year, we know with the influx of money and everything that's happening between rentals, Airbnbs and everything that's going on, this is a good indicator that live time right now, right? We saw it spike in basically January, February of 2022 through July, and now it's definitely been coming down. So rents have gone up almost 18% in 22. Now we're only up 3%, 3.3% 3 in 2023. The problem with this is this is a year over year and there's a time lag behind it in order to catch up because some of these rents, these contracts were written months ago and now they're basically coming into effect. So this is trying to catch up. So as you can see, the CPI report on the year over year change, it's really just starting to peak, which means it's really just barely catching up with what's happening in January of 22. So as you can see in July of 20, it really wasn't coming down until July of 21. So it's about a year behind. So what we should be seeing now is a starting to crest and starting to make its way over the top and starting to come down, which is really good for interest rates, which means interest rates are gonna fall. Again, this is what happened in 22. So for the consumer price index up top and then shelter down low, shelter definitely rose and then kind of came down in the month of March and April, and then definitely started to raise again up in May. The consumer price index in 22 definitely came lower. So this is what we're trying to chase in 23. So the big thing here is we're a little nervous as far as what's going to happen in the March report. We should definitely see some relief come really the 14th of March when it reports on the month of February. We're going to see interest rates get a little bit lower. But once we jump into basically May 10th, that's our big indicator as far as what's going on. And that's this is when we should circle the calendar as far as what's going to happen with interest rates. And from there, moving forward, we should see shelter catch up on the year over year and total overall inflation start to come down. So I think it's going to be a little bumpy over these next like 60 days as we continue to kind of watch this. Um, and we'll kind of keep in the loop as far as what's going on. But there definitely is a lot of relief in the horizon. We just got to kind of make it through these next 60 to 90 days, get out to the kind of the May 10th area and uh, and kind of see what happens here. There's definitely going to be a lot of reports. We're going to see this kind of go up and down over the next little bit here. But circle your calendars for May 10th.